Olivia's video. In today's video, we are going to learn about ancient Egypt's rich history. In 6000 BC, ancient Egyptians settled along the Nile River, which was known as the longest river in the world. All the early civilizations were near the rivers because it provided water to them and helped with their transportation and crops. Ancient Egypt's history was divided into three periods. The Old, Middle, and the New Kingdom. The Old Kingdom was known as the Age of Pyramids. This was a time when Great Pyramid of Giza and many other pyramids were built. Over these 400 years, Egypt had a strong government and economy ruled by leaders called pharaohs. The country suffered from drought and famine that led the government to collapse. During the Middle Kingdom, the entire Egypt was united under a single government. Their economy prospered, their army expanded, and the use of papyrus paper took off. Eventually, the pharaoh's control of Egypt began to weaken, causing the Middle Kingdom to collapse. The New Kingdom was known as the Golden Age of Wealth, Parity, and Power. It was because Egypt was led by a 10-year-old king that united the entire kingdom for a certain period. Pharaohs launched wide range expeditions taking over lands to the east and south. Unfortunately, while under the reign of their last pharaoh, Cleopatra, Egypt declined due to a series of famine and drought and Cleopatra. Just like the Greeks and Romans, Egyptians also believe in many gods and goddesses. Five of the most important gods and goddesses of the ancient Egypt are the god of sun and radiance, Ra, the mother goddess, Isis, the ruler of the underworld and god of the dead, Osiris, the god of the sky, Horus, and the god of knowledge and the moon, Trophy. The afterlife was an important part for ancient Egyptian culture and one of the ways they prepared for it was to dry and preserve the body through a process called mummification. Mummies were often wrapped in linen bandages and kept in their tomb for a long, long time. Hieroglyphics was an ancient language using symbols to represent words. A single symbol could stand for a whole word or sound. Writing in hieroglyphics was so complicated, it took years of education and practice to be able to do it. Because of this, most of the ancient Egyptians could not write or read, but the ones who were trained to write it were called scribes. The ancient Egyptians often wrote on tablets or walls, but they also wrote on paper made from a plant called papyrus. In fact, the word papyrus is where we got the word paper from. The Egyptian pyramids were built as tombs and monuments for pharaohs during the ancient time. Inside the pyramid, pharaohs were buried with different items and treasures that they may need to survive in the afterlife. The most famous one was King Tut's tomb. In 1922, his tomb was discovered mostly untouched and was filled with treasure, including a gold mask. Most of the pyramids were made out of limestone, but how it was built has always been a mystery. Many of the pyramids still survive today. All in all, not many cultures can survive up to 3,000 years and leave such an influential legacy. Ancient Egypt has definitely set a high standard for all the civilizations that followed. Thanks for joining me in today's video. See you on my next one.